people in downtown Portland after that fight at a food cart pod. It's 5 o'clock. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Kelly Day. Thanks for joining us tonight, everyone. Quinn Local 6 reporter Jolie Winaga is there live right now. Southwest 3rd and Stark, a lot of police activity. Joel, what happened? And still continues, uh, Kelly and Jeff, what is being described to us as a long standing feud between the downtown food cart owners and the street kids really came to a violent head this afternoon. Give you a live look at the scene right now. Officers still on scene here. Again, this is a live look um, here at this brawl with as many as 18 street kids that took place uh, between at least two food cart owners here at 3rd and Stark. We'll go to the video now. The food cart owners say they have been threatened, they've had their food cart. Carts vandalized. Many have had their tip jars stolen. Well, today they say they have had enough. Two of the food cart owners decided to defend themselves and fight back. That fight ensued. Knives were shown, and one of the street kids, we are told, threatened one of these food cart owners with brass knuckles. About a dozen officers arrived really in the nick of time to stop what really could have been a violent brawl. They told us we're dead. They said we're dead. You guys are going down. We're going to get street justice, whatever the hell that means. They have nothing to lose. They don't care. They're probably going to arrest them and they'll be out an hour later. At this point, we cannot confirm the number of arrests. We did see at least a half a dozen street kids in handcuffs, though. Charges so far, we've been told, include criminal mistreatment and possibly, at this point, assault. Back to a live picture here. We do have uh, at least a dozen officers still on scene here at 3rd and Stark. The uh, roadway remains open, though. Uh, we have paramedics and firefighters on scene as well. We uh, understand that at least one of the street kids suffered a quite possibly a sprained or a broken ankle. We saw her um, Crying, uh, crying out loud. Um, this is about 15, 20 minutes or so. Food cart owners say while they are thankful these arrests were made, they say this is justice hardly served. These kids, they say, will be out, um, out of jail just down the street within the hour or so, and they believe this trouble will start right back again sometime tomorrow. Reporting for you live here in downtown Portland, Joel Lewinaga, Coin Local Six. Jeff and Kelly will send it back to you in the studio. Jo